She achieved global fame at 17 and was nominated for Academy Award at only 20 years old. However, Kira Knightley wasn't always able to enjoy her success. The pressures of being famous when she was so young got to the point where the actress was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Today, Kira is mentally healthy and can share her story and help others with what she has learned. Kira Knightley was born in 1985 in England. Her father was an actor, while her mother was a playwright. The actress has revealed she was born on a bet. Her dad told her mum that they could have another child if she sold the script. Kira's mother wrote a play called When I Was a Girl, I Used to Scream and Shout. Not only did it get sold, but it also won many awards and ran for several years. While growing up, Knightley could hear how her father constantly received phone calls from agents. At just three years old, she began asking to have an acting agent herself. However, her parents didn't get her one until three years later, partly as a reward for her hard work trying to overcome dyslexia. Kira began getting small roles in commercials and television. When she was 12, the actress appeared in her first blockbuster, Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Knightley played a handmaiden for Natalie Portman's character. At one point, her character pretended to be Natalie's. At that age, the two child actresses were so similar, even their mothers had a hard time telling them apart. Although she was a successful child actress, performing wasn't Kira's priority. Her parents only allowed her to take on roles that wouldn't make her miss too much school. Because of this, the star mostly took jobs over her summer breaks. Knightley's parents also only allowed her to act if her grades were good. This rule is what allowed the actress to overcome her dyslexia and get motivated to read and work hard. When Kira was 16, her parents finally allowed her to become a full-time actress. It was then that she got her first big role playing a footballer in Bend It Like Beckham. In order to play convincingly, Knightley had to train her soccer skills for about five months. As hard as Kira worked, critics disliked her performance. Years later, the actress confessed that she thought it was well-deserved as she hadn't gone to drama school, so she didn't have any acting training. It was difficult to get over that, Kira told The Guardian. At the time, she thought, what am I doing? I'm pretending that I can do this and everybody's telling me I can't. However, the criticism didn't stop Knightley. In 2003, she began starring in the franchise that would grant her worldwide fame, Pirates of the Caribbean. Kira began struggling with the pressures of being famous the fact that she was a teenager when she became well-known meant that all her mistakes were judged even worse. Although the actress has no regrets about her career, she once confessed that teenage years should be done privately. When her fame was increasing, Knightley took steps to remain grounded. Despite her busy agenda, the actress didn't have a personal assistant because she needed to learn to become an adult and take care of herself. Although the pressure was getting to her, Kira continued landing roles in films that would add to it even more. Although her character in Love Actually didn't have much screen time, the storyline was well loved and she got a lot of attention. Despite her success, Knightley wasn't taken seriously at the beginning of her career. Many believe she had gotten important roles only because she was beautiful and not due to her acting talents. This led to Kira doubting herself and thinking that maybe they were right. In 2005, the actress proved her critics wrong with her role as Elizabeth Bennet in the Pride and Prejudice adaptation, which earned her an Academy Award nomination. She was only 20 years old, which meant that, at the time, she was the third youngest nominee ever. Unfortunately, Kira wasn't able to enjoy her success. At 22 years old, the actress suffered what she called a mental breakdown. At one point, she didn't leave her house for several months and even needed hypnotherapy to attend the 2008 BAFTA Awards without having a panic attack. Eventually, the performer was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and, as a result, Kira took time off acting to focus on her mental health. Post-traumatic stress disorder develops in some people who have gone through scary, dangerous, or shocking events. For Kira, it was likely triggered by being chased by the paparazzi as a teenager. The actress explained that, at the time, photographers would get a lot of money for pictures of famous women falling apart. It was worth our while to make you break down in front of them, she said in an interview. There was a level of violence, it felt, in the air. Knightley has explained that she contemplated quitting her career altogether. Her lack of training also made her feel insecure. I literally felt like I was worthless, she admitted. I was incredibly hard on myself. I was never good enough, Kira explained. She was always trying to get better and improve to the point where it became exhausting. Years later, after Knightley had relaxed, she realized just how extraordinary she was at 22. However, 
she now knows that that kind of ambition comes with a cost. Kira also struggled with being a woman in the public eye. There's a funny place where women are meant to sit, publicly, and I never felt comfortable with that. It was a big jolt, she told Harper's Bazaar. The actress explained that the parts she played presented a form of femininity that wasn't her experience since she was very tomboyish. People saw what she projected on the screen, which wasn't like her personality. I felt very constrained. I felt very stuck, Kira said. The star explained that she chose different roles afterward as a way to break out of that. After getting treatment, Knightley continued her acting career. She landed major roles in films like Never Let Me Go and Anna Karenina. Her work on the film The Imitation Game earned her another Oscar nomination. In 2011, Kira met musician James Wrighton. The pair began a very private relationship and got engaged after a year of dating. In 2013, the lovebirds tied the knot in a small ceremony in France. The wedding was very low-key and there wasn't much focus on material things. Knightley decided to re-wear a dress she had already worn for a BAFTA pre-party. A few months after the ceremony, the actress wore the dress again on a red carpet. Kira's wedding ring was a beaten up gold band made by a friend. This low-key approach to their relationship was also translated to parenting. Kira and James have two daughters whom they try to keep away from the pressures of fame. Although the actress's family allows her to be herself and relax, Knightley has opened up about the challenges of being a parent. For example, she feels guilty when she has to leave her kids for work. Growing up and becoming a parent also allowed Knightley to reflect on her struggles as a woman. The actress has openly spoken out about double standards. For example, she dislikes that only working women are asked to balance their careers with motherhood, while the same isn't expected of men. In 2018, the star contributed to a collection of essays titled Feminists Don't Wear Pink and Other Lies. In her raw and unfiltered essay, Kira opened up about how her body changed during pregnancy and after childbirth. She also described how women are encouraged to hide our pain. She then contributed to the Feminists Don't Wear Pink podcast, where she once again detailed her experiences with the paparazzi. The actress noted that, ever since she was young, the media attention had been focused on her personal life. Suddenly, it was all about whatever boyfriend I might have or might not have, how thin I was or how thin I wasn't, or what my lips were like or had I had plastic surgery, she said. Kira revealed that the photographers and even the police acted as if she deserved to be followed because she had chosen to be an actress. After many years, she realized that this language was the same that abusers used towards their victims. If you take these cameras away from these men, then what they're doing is harassing and stalking a young woman, she added. I've had various stalking uh, situations and I've had various paparazzi situations and it feels the same. Knightley is now in her late 30s, so she's grown particularly interested in how women are perceived as they age. Change is always tricky. We're told that it's bad, she told Harper's Bazaar. Even if being famous as a woman can still make Kira feel pressured at times, her family keeps her grounded. The actress is also grateful that her career is now at a place where she can enjoy it. Her level of fame is less intense, which allows her to deal with it better. The star has confessed that finding this balance took many years of therapy. However, she's now very aware of what caused her past struggles and isn't afraid to speak out so that others don't endure the same things. Here, at Rumor Juice, we admire the actress' courage and hope she can continue living the life that works for her.